I don't have it set up right. Ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it set up right. By the way, here's your music. Yeah. This isn't set up right. Here's By the your way, music. And three. Two. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to That Checks Out with Damon and Ted. I'm Ted. The other guy's the other guy. <laughs> That's me. I'm Damon. <laughs> oh. 175 episodes, he finally introduces himself. <laughs> That's what my week was. <laughs> I just want to talk about my week. I just want to talk about my week. Jamin, how was your week? Nice. All right, so here's the deal. So, uh, kind of eventful. We're just going to go to the last 48 hours, all right? Damon, how was your last 48 hours? Right. So, so this here, week on 48 hours. I was going to say, 48 hours, like if you start counting the clock down yeah. now, uh, it does get better towards the end, but it starts out pretty solid too. So we had a, uh, Oh, it sounds like your last movement. <laughs> pretty solid. Gets better towards, towards the end. end. Yeah. It gets better yeah. towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of cleanup, <laughs> a lot of cleanup afterwards. Nope. Yeah. So no. So what was kind of cool is, uh, so we had a wedding we went to, it, it's a family wedding because, uh, it's Nicole's goddaughter. So it was really cool. Uh, so we that's had, not family. That's not even Olive Garden. Right. <laughs> yeah. So we had breadsticks. So anyway, um, on Thursday, they had a rehearsal dinner, okay? And so Nicole's doing a reading at the church. <laughs> like, you need to rehearse dinner. Right, yeah. I am the dinner expert. What's funny is they bring out the one, it's like, that was my practice dinner. <laughs> now, let's have the real one. But uh, so we do the rehearsal dinner. So we get to the the place after we're done at the church, which, by the way, the the lady at the church, it was uh, it was up north. And the it was none? Uh, no, she was having none. None fun, Okay. <laughs> And so oh, she literally. I'm familiar with those kind of church ladies. Yes. So she's giving the speech to these, uh, you know, 23 year old, uh, you know, participants. 23 and and 24. And 23 under. and me. Yeah, 23 and me. So uh, so her entire family's getting a speech. But anyway, she's telling them what we don't do. Okay, we don't do this. We don't ride on the bottom of shoes. We don't drag ball and chains. We don't. This is a church. Now it was a Catholic church, so I understand. Okay. But anyway, this lady, she looked like, and I sent this to my wife because she was sitting up front because she was going up to do a reading for the for the rehearsal, which, by the way, she made her read most of it as if to test my wife to see if she knows how to read. Well, I've met Nicole. So okay. But this one, this is the first time I'm finally like, I'm on the same page okay. with this lady. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Anyway, I called her Large Marge because she looked like Large Marge from Pee Wee's. Tell them Large Marge sent you. Right. So I sent- I don't know why that was the pirate <laughs> from SpongeBob, but whatever. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? <laughs> so I send her the thing while she's sitting up in like the second pew, and we're back in the way back. And she, I see her look down at her. First, she looks at her watch and realizes there's a picture. So she's like, oh. So she takes her phone out. She looks at her phone, and I get the slow roll over my shoulder coming my way. I'm like, okay, am I getting a smile? And like, what am I getting? Right? <laughs> and she looks you, over. Because you're like, I don't care either way. I yeah, just want to know what either it way. is. I'm in church. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You know, I'm, I'm okay. So, uh <laughs> Jesus is right there. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to do? But she looks over her shoulder and then she just, she gives me the most disgusting look and shakes her head. I'm like, still got it. You know? <laughs> so we go to the, the rehearsal dinner afterwards and we go to, it, it's a, uh, it's a nice place. We're upstairs. Okay. And it's like a, it's like a, like a hipster type place. It seems like. Okay. You the name of it? Um, I don't, I don't. But it was uh, it was cool. It, it was, was cool. Clomp or stomp or yeah. some crap. But but it had the bathroom upstairs. They said, "Oh, the bathroom's up there." So I, I go upstairs to the bathroom, right? And I get done. Now I, I wash my hands, and I turn on. I t- <laughs> what are you oh, covering is that your watch? What it is? Ah, you hear that? What do you hear? TikTok. Well, I like he's. I'm making noise. He wants me to stop, but he won't come in and be like, "Hey, can you stop making that noise?" Yeah, he's over there. Woo-hoo. He's in there like, "Hey, you guys hey, make a noise." Hey, don't don't do that thing. <laughs> yeah, what thing? He I will. Can't. He will talk I at any I part. Can talk on this one. Like, <laughs> he will talk Nobody at any part of talk, the podcast. Guys. So the mime in the door and flip flops is telling you to do what? <laughs> the one time we need direction from him, he's yeah. like, "I won't talk." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt. Listen, I would talk to Ted, but I'm giving David the silent treatment, so I'm off my mic. Just be quiet, you know? <laughs> I walked back and forth like three times trying to figure out what well, yeah, I, 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 know, was. I felt you over Wait. my shoulder, and I'm like, what is he doing here? And I'm like, whatever. So uh, it's, it's Mac. It's yeah. Mac. So anyway, and then he rattles stuff all over. Listen, I yeah. can hear your watch ticking. This is kind of hey, Ted, weird. don't do that nervous tick you're doing, but let me hit every piece of <laughs> equipment yeah. in here. I'm going to practice juggling. Please stop doing that. 
so I used the bathroom and then I hit the, you know, I hit the dryer thing. Here's the thing. So they have paper towel on like, a, they have like the, the brown paper towel. Remember when you used to blow your nose in school and get a bloody nose? The thing you know, that somehow is called towel, but does not dry. It's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. nothing. You, you, and you can't really, you can write Sometimes, on it. Somehow it gets wet, but yeah. does not remove moisture from you. Correct. Yeah. Like, how is this happening? This is wet and gross. By the way, my hands are still soaking. soaking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so it's got this, this roll. Here's what I don't understand. They put the roll. Jerry's here. Yeah. Welcome, Jerry. <laughs> Go ahead. You're late, Jerry. So anyway, <laughs> they put the, I'm saying it before Mac does. Anyway, this is why you don't have key privileges. I'm just letting you know. But anyway, so the the roll is underneath the dryer. I tap the dryer. It begins to unravel this like it's on a leaf blower. Okay. <laughs> and here's my here's my idea. I'm looking at it going. Holy cow, this is happening. I'm not stopping it. <laughs> now I realize I'm still drying my hand. This thing is blowing. It's like I'm in a parade. It is flying everywhere. It's like one of those wacky wave of inflatable <laughs> arm guys, right? And here's the deal. It keeps getting bigger and bigger, and the roll's getting looser and looser. And I'm like, okay. The dryer doesn't shut off. I'm hitting the button. <laughs> like, how do I shut? <laughs> I'm aiming it different. Now it's in my face. My hair is blowing back like I'm in Top Gun, and I have the roof open. All right? I'm like, what's going on here? You're so, playing with the boys. So here's the deal. I decide, I don't know who's waiting outside, and they've heard all this. You know, I'm hitting hey, everything. Hey, hey, don't yeah. do that. Mac will silently come in here yeah. and admonish yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stand there with his arms crossed over my shoulder. So just do that. Wave yeah. the finger like, no, 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 out there like you're uh, Marley Matlin. Yeah. I just know when I feel your finger against my lips for the, I'm going to be pissed that you didn't just say in the microphone, could you stop talking for a minute? All right. What are the best jokes of family guy? What it's just Quagmire's toe. Just comes yeah. in. <laughs> right. Right. Just, <laughs> so it's a great visual. He just painted. So anyway, I come out of the bathroom, dryer still going paper everywhere. And I'm like, it's like, they want to get in there. <laughs> I'm like, what do I do? You know, <laughs> I have progressively made. How many times have you had to do that? You're like, well, it's true, well, right? It's absolutely true. But you got to come out and be like, the guy before me yeah. destroyed. He this wrecked place. this place. He wrecked this place. Listen, I've been holding my breath for a, a 45 second pee. Yeah. I'm out. You come right. out. And you're like, you saw how long I was in there, right? Right. You know that wasn't me. <laughs> you know that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's like uh, when I so when I was in the car industry, you would get in somebody's car. Like, they'd be like, I had my car towed in. I'm like, cool. And you'd open the door, and you're like, oh, my God. I've seen, uh, like, the black ice ones. They smell awful, right? right? Or or does the marble man live in here? No, not even the marble man. But it's like, it's like, where did you find fresh butthole air freshener? You know what I mean? It's like not even, like, dry, crusty butthole. It's, like, fresh. And, like, did I miss something? Yeah, you did. It's Now it's the scent of your car. It's gross. And you're like, so now you're trying to get the mileage off, and you got to put the key in. You're like, <gasps> and you go you in. Know that guy was yeah. like, as soon as he got pulled in, and you're like, all right, get out of the car. He was like, <sniffs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> roll him up. <laughs> That's for Damon. Roll him up. Why is your car running with the heat on? It is June. Just get in there and get the mileage. Oh, I'm cooking Shh. something. Yeah, you shut up. Yeah, but anyway, it's it's I, get, I give the whole look like I was like that. You know what I mean? It's like uh, I don't know what happened, but dude, I just I was the first one to use that bathroom, and I made it. Almost unusable <laughs> just by washing my hands. That's kind of your thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, so, so anyway, we're out um, in like the uh, St. Charles, Geneva area, right? And uh, yesterday was the wedding last night. So we had the wedding in the afternoon at like 2 30. So, like 2 30 to 3 30, they did some pictures and stuff. Nicole had to do some pictures. And then it was about four o'clock. Well, we hadn't eaten yet and we knew we were going to get the reception at six. Well, you know the private cocktail hour, and then they'll seat everybody. They'll do toasts. It's probably seven thirty, eight o'clock before you eat. And I have my daughter with me who gets hangry. I mean, hangry. Okay. So you could have said either one of those, and we would have known it was your daughter. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You could have said it's my daughter, or I have a child with me that gets hangry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> must be your daughter. I have an ogre that's soothed by chicken tenders. Right. So anyway, sounds um, like a parakio to me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean you feed them and they're nicer? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> yeah. Unlike Gremlins, you do feed Brachios right, yeah. after midnight, before midnight, yeah. noon, at midnight. 
<laughs> There's no rules. 1159, 12, and 1201. That's how much he's eating. Okay. <laughs> Will he multiply? Yeah, but he's still one dude. He's big as an army. Okay. But he's still one dude. So, but anyway, so she goes, I said, uh, I said, well, let's go to one of like one of these pizza places. Cause I knew I was having uh, the beef for dinner and she was having the, the, like the steak or whatever. And so was I. And I said, I don't want to go to like a burger place. There was a lot of them around there, including Wahlburgers. She goes, I want to go to Wahlburgers because we've been there a couple of times. She likes it. So we go to Wahlburgers. Now, one guess what she ordered when we got there. Chicken fingers. Chicken tenders. Correct. So anyway, yeah. So apparently they're, they're, it's great, you know. So we get there. Now we're at Wahlburgers in St. Charles. Now that's the hometown of, of Jenny McCarthy and now said Donnie Wahlberg. So our waiter comes at a table and he says in a very – Suspicious, like like I'm, you know, you you know how you read the room. Some people don't have that power, but I, I'm pretty good at it yeah. most of the time. One of them's at that table, right? Yeah, <laughs> two. But anyway, <laughs> I had both girls with me. But anyway, so so waiter right, comes up. No more double eggs on the roof. <laughs> yeah. So, but when he says, he goes, "Hey, he goes, you know, sometimes now, mind you, this is a Friday night at about four o'clock in the afternoon, four four fifteen. He goes, you know, sometimes uh, Donnie will even stop in here. You might get to see him now." That's a weird thing to say to somebody. Yeah. If he's not coming. Right. Now, the way he said it, too, was like almost like the Mr. Burns excellent. He's like, so sometimes, you know what I mean? And he's doing the fingers, and you're like, okay. Excellent. So now, nobody else picks up on the fact that we're probably about to meet Donnie Wahlberg, all right? Which, by the way, I think he's a really cool dude. And I always like the Wahlberger show, and I, and I, I think the family's very cool and this and that. So, hand to God, six minutes later, our, here comes our food, right? He just sets the food down. And here comes Donnie strolling out the back, starts talking to the table, you know. There's only about five, six tables of people in there because it's still it's early on a Friday. And uh, he comes walking over and he sees we just got our food. He's like, oh, I don't want to interrupt. I'm like, no, man. I says, I appreciate you taking the time. You know, he was very nice. And uh, I said, how about a picture? He goes, absolutely. So I hand him my phone because he's like the selfie king, you know. And he takes a couple pictures on my phone. It was nice. And uh, and then he actually did because we were doing a, a, a wedding, like I said. He did a recording for the the married couple and then also thanked him for his service because he's, he just graduated from, uh, uh, Oh, West point, West point. That's what it is. Yeah. And so anyway, uh, he did that. It was very cool. He's very, just a class act dude. Right. So it's funny later on, uh, I have to use the restroom. Well, it just so happens he's now eating with his family. With Wait, his fam- Donnie gets the restroom table at his own restaurant. Yeah. There was- uh, so we got a table by the back. <laughs> Right here. Do you have a kitchen view? No, I do have a. Please tell me view. when you walked out, you turned to Donnie and were like, "It was like that when I went in." There. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> I just leave every bathroom like a dealer. <laughs> it's like, what does he do with his hands? Yeah. He's out. He's out. I don't know. Yeah, he's, change him. Change him. He's done. But no, so they have this cardboard cutout of him and Mark, and then his his brother Paul's in the middle with his head cut out. So you you go up and you stand in there and you put your face in there, and so you're between Mark and Donnie. So my daughter goes up to do that. We already said we were going to do that before. Now, ironically, we've already taken a real picture with Donnie. Yeah. Right? So we go over and we're doing this. Oh, he's at the table right there. Now, again, I walk to the restroom. Uh, no offense, but you're eating your dinner. i just leaving you alone. I, I didn't even really look at you. I don't need to watch you put a bite of food in your mouth because you're somebody famous on TV. You're a dude having dinner. So I just we respectfully went to the bathroom, came back, destroyed it, <laughs> okay, <laughs> but uh, but came back. So we go over and we're taking the picture, and he and he, he kind of looks over, and he, he he laughs. He was like, ha, huh? you know, like, because we're doing it, yeah. You know, like, hey, that guy's me, you know? And I'm thinking to myself, you want a photo bomb? I'll take two Donnie Wahlbergs in this picture, you know? But it was very cool. It was a very neat, and even when he left, he came by again and said, hey, thanks for coming by. He was greeting people at the door. I mean, very down to earth, very cool. And see, that's the right way, I think, to market and treat people. You're saying because he had the right stuff? He had the right stuff, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then when Nicole left, he said, please don't go girl. But that was, uh, no, sorry, that was somebody else. <laughs> that was that That was that Joey kid. Uh, what's his, uh, yeah, he was on TV. McIntyre, that was his name. Because he's been, they've all had TV shows now. The yeah. one guy, he flips houses, farmhouses. Uh, Jordan, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but anyway, I real eventful, we, and we would go back to the wedding reception. Or was it John? Um, the John? It's John. John. It is yeah. John. It's Jordan's Jordan's brother. Brother. Right, right, right. Because they've both been on that show. But yeah, John's the one uh, that does that. But like I said, it was very cool. It was a very cool weekend. Uh, and then I got in real late last night, got up this morning, and we're recording. So I should be a peach. <laughs> so the good news is. Did someone feed you? I'm not hungry, right? 
<laughs> Speaking of peach, you got anything to eat? So, but uh, but yeah, like I said, it, it was it was very. Oh, the other thing I have to say, and I did not say anything about this in the car or anything to you at at dinner last night where we were at. They they bring out this salad which has like strawberries and all this almonds or whatever slices. And I'm, I'm looking at you know me. I'm like, why am I going to eat this? I don't yeah. like fruit <clears throat> in my vegetables. But I, so anyway, I I started it. It was very good. Well, Marissa picked the strawberries out of hers. Goes, you want this? I go. Hand it over. So I ate it, right? <laughs> then they bring out a sorbet, I guess, to cleanse your palate. As they do. Okay. Here, I know I don't go anywhere fancy. Here's what happens. They bring out a ball of sorbet. Now, my daughter looks at me and says, Should eat that's one bite, Dad. Now, it's a big ball of sorbet. I'm like, you're going to get brain freeze. I throw it in my mouth, okay? Because nobody likes a quitter. Okay, yeah. and I even looked at her yeah. and go, I'm not backing down. I mean, yeah, that's on your birthday. Good. Damon, I throw it in my mouth, Parakia. So I throw it in my mouth. I, hand of God, it's really cold, but it's uh, uh, it's crunchy on the bottom. And when I say crunchy, I mean beyond crunchy. Crazy crunchy. Like, I thought it was ice <clears throat> for the yeah. bottom of the cup. Please tell me you put plastic in your mouth. It wasn't plastic. It was glass. <laughs> even better. It's glass. Dude, I'm because cr- you know you're at a table. Like some people, I don't know in this and that. I'm not going to start spitting into a cloth napkin because I don't know what's in my mouth. I am crunching it like it is the world's toughest potato chips on the face of the earth. I'm crunching this. I'm not lying to you. Hand it, it was it was painful. And then I'm like, this is not good. So I literally take my napkin and I spit it out, and and I'm you know I'm like just you just do the the, the face wipe thing, and I can't you can't get it all you you know you can't get it all out, and and I look at it. And I'm like, that's glass. I'm I'm disappointed only because your mouth apparently is not ruined. Yeah, it is not. And so Marissa and my sister in law sit on the other side of me. They're hearing me chew this. You know, like like I don't like when I can hear people chew. Yeah. Well, when someone's chewing glass, it's you're gonna notice. You're gonna hear them. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, it's not like an everyday occurrence, but yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> So, so here's the deal. So I, I I get done. Is that guy chewing glass again? Yeah. Oh my god! Damn it! He is so annoying. <laughs> so loud. Are you chewing glass? So anyway, I I spit the stuff out in the napkin, and I don't think not like to take a picture. And I don't, you know, but my sister in law does. And so they the lady comes over and she calls a lady over and she's like, "Hey, he literally had glass in his, but the bottom of his sorbet, like it was in the bottom of the. But since I took one scoop." You know, now it would have been in my last bite regardless. I probably yeah. wouldn't have seen it or I would have thought it was an ice chip if I if I did see it even, you know, whatever. But anyway, uh, mind you, I'm in a little bit of pain now. I've swallowed quite a bit of it because now I'm taking my water going, whatever it is, let's just get it out of my mouth. Uh, and, <clears throat> I can't wait till it comes back. Yeah. So I don't know if it cut going in, but coming out. Talk about destroying a bathroom, okay? But but the fact of the matter is, is everyone of those sharp poops. Yeah. So <laughs> So what's funny is it's not really funny, I guess, but everybody's table's mortified. So this, so they call over the the, the waitress is there, and 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 my uh, my sister in law Michelle, she goes, hey, that she's pointing to the thing that was in his sorbet and in his mouth. Now she picks up a piece of it, and I go, remind you, it was in my mouth. Okay. Now again, I probably would have done the same thing, so I get it. She goes, I'm gonna go with the manager. Manager comes over. She gives me her name. I don't know, Cindy, whatever her name was. And she says, she goes, wait, so what happened? So in true Damon fashion, I just go through the whole story as like a complete, utter nut job. Longer or shorter than this? Uh, much longer. I, I, I don't know if that. that's possible. No, I, I shouldn't say that. But it was it was one of those things where I'm like, you know, so I, I'm running through. I'm like, so here, table table so, challenge me. So I was at Wahlburgers. Yeah. <laughs> you know Johnny Wahlberg? So no, but what was funny is I, I go, I go, all right, Cindy. You can appreciate this, all right? <laughs> this is what I say. Table challenged me to eat this in one bite. Ate it in one bite. Coincidentally, crunchy at the bottom. Thought it was ice. Not ice. Turns out it's glass. Keep crunching, trying to swallow. Probably swallowed over half of whatever was right here. Swallowed more than half of it. Got it down. Don't know where that is now. Somewhere in here. You know what I'm like? Probably my belly. And I'm like, okay, now. And then I go through the whole thing. So then at the end, and I go, I go, and then you came to the table. Now we're all caught up. That's what I said. <laughs> She and I'm not looking at her face because she's over my shoulder, kind of like Mac was a minute ago. You know, yeah. he's telling you not to do stuff. Yeah. Um, I wish you would have started with previously on at this table, yeah. <laughs> and now the continuation so, of at this table. So you just remind me of something else, but yeah. So she goes to leave, and everybody's face is right. They're all like just dying laughing. I look at my daughter. She goes, "That lady is mortified." <laughs> 
that she had to stand there? Or the, 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 what happened to you in the story? And I go, what? She goes, yeah, here's everybody's got green napkins at the table. Somebody already needed another napkin. They brought him another green napkin. They bring me a new napkin. It's black. So you know they marked me. <laughs> okay. This guy's going to do gross stuff with the napkin. Right. <laughs> so the steak comes out. My daughter goes, best can't eat it one bite. <laughs> She goes now, my- you're, now you're now you just throw now you just deep throw in the steak. <laughs> razor blades, there's razor blades in steak. Yeah, but uh, hey, this guy will eat glass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what do you think we could put in this steak? There's a machete in this slice of cake. I bet he fights it down. He swallowed half. Of it. <laughs> he had two choices to get it out of his mouth, and he chose swallowing. <laughs> we put frosting on it for less than light bulb. This guy ate the whole thing. <laughs> so. So anyway, yeah, I, I don't know what's going to come of it. N- N- Nicole was not happy. I, I'm not happy. I probably won't be happy this eventually. Is, this is what happens when <clears throat> she went and sat at another table. She <laughs> left you and your daughter unsupervised. unsupervised. No adult supervision. Correct. So what do you think? Anything weird happened? Well, Dad ate half of a thing of glass. <laughs> Did you stop him? No. No, he was crunching for a while. No, I dared him to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I dared him to throw a steak down after it. The old one-bite champ over here. <laughs> he choked down some, some glass. <laughs> but uh, but my daughter Dad mortified the manager. How did he do that? Well, first <laughs> off, we were at Wahlburgers. Yeah. So you know what's funny though? She just said that, and, you, and Nicole had been like, "I know he does that all the time." Yeah, no, 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 mom, different level. <laughs> what I need in this story is detail. Yeah. Okay, understood. Yeah. <laughs> now we're all caught up. We That's are- how we finished this story. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on at this table, right. <laughs> it was it was so it was so wild. So yeah, again. So then later on, I go up and I get I'm just drinking water. So I get a glass of water from the bar. I have a cut right here in my lip. Do you want to know why? Cuz you were eating glass? No, because the glass I got water out of had a chip on the top of it. And as soon as I put it to my mouth, I cut my lip open. God, this is what I get for buying the cheapest hitman. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I can't afford bullets, man, but I can get you a, a chipped glass. And, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> How about we run some crystal yeah. through them and see and what a, happens? And a window pane sorbet. Yeah. That's what I told her. I go, I'm going to crap a window later. Double pane, <laughs> insulated. Yeah, double pane. Yeah. Going in and coming out. <laughs> Might be triple pane. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. P A I N. Good, good play. <laughs> <laughs> no joke grenade. I was like, I get this one right away. <laughs> so, Phil, you can top eating glass last night. <laughs> oh, is it my turn? Now? <laughs> well, we're forty six minutes in. So I figured last week we didn't record. <laughs> yeah, because we didn't have time. But then we did. But we ended up recording. Yeah, because we got asked to do a uh, commercial for a local event coming up. Yes, and uh, we're trying to work around your schedule and my schedule and. And uh, you're like, I'm going to be late. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm going to be late. And you're like, why? And I'm like, because I might have to pull off and do an oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> right. Foreshadowing, I did. Yeah. And I was like, hey, it's a good thing I'm, I'm, I'm home this week. I'm not traveling because, you know, you know, I'm clearly not feeling well. And then the next day, I was like, hey, it's a good thing we recorded. And you said, why? And I said, you said, because you're traveling or because you're still doing oh, no's? And I was like, why not both? Yeah. <laughs> Survey says. <laughs> Yes, I did. I got top a, two answers yeah. are on the board. <laughs> I literally got a call late Saturday night, and they're like, "Hey, you need to be in Boston on Monday." I'm like, Ooh, oh, that's fun. Did you meet the Wahlbergers? <laughs> Ironically, no. Okay, <laughs> I went to Boston, and you met one of the Wahlbergers. I'm Wahlbergs. a couple towns over from you, yeah. Yeah. and and I ironically run into them. across the street from where I used to work. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so that was fine. There wasn't any too much issue. Well, I actually went. The only place I could I went to the you know work travel website, travel agent website. The only place under four hundred dollars a night, yeah, was an extended stay place. You know where they expect you to stay. You know they have the full kitchen and everything. I get there and they're like, uh, "Just so you know, you have to ask if you want the kitchen outfitted." And I was like, "What do you mean? Is there like a hole where the fridge should be?" Like we, <laughs> and he's like, "No, we we just don't stock it with the- <laughs> guy with a Home Depot yeah. cart yeah. pulling the fridge right. up from another unit." <laughs> just <sighs> gotta take five, man. <laughs> gotta take five. Do you he's like, "No, we, we don't put we don't put plates or." Uh, you know, like dishes or anything or pots. And I was like, what do you expect people not to use that stuff? <laughs> and here's the, the thing is, is like, because I knew I was going there, I already had gone to the grocery store and picked up a few things. Right. So I was like, yeah, I got frozen's man. I'm going to want to use them. He's like, okay, maybe five to 10 minutes. So I go upstairs, hour goes by. I go back down. I'm like, Hey, I don't want to be this guy, but I just want to make sure I didn't get lost in the shuffle. Oh, it's just been really busy. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm waiting to cook my dinner because all I have upstairs to put on the stove is my hand. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not doing that. <laughs> Two hours later, they finally show up with like one of everything. Like, like if this isn't depressing enough, here's a plate. Yeah. Here's a spoon. <laughs> Sounds like someone's doing yeah. dishes. <laughs> hey, uh, this is a two-slot toaster. You just get the left side. Yeah, it's blocked. There's a padlock yeah. on it. <laughs> 311 gets the other side. You wake up in the morning, you stand there with his coffee. What are you doing? I'm here for my toast, bro. Yeah, Shut up. My toast. Yeah. You should have put that thing on the door. Yeah. Why'd you buy it if you're not going to put it on there? Do not disturb unless you're coming for toast. That's right on the sign. I go down to check out the gym. They yeah. literally turned it into like uh, a library with eight books. Really? Yeah. There's like there's like three tables and then like a, a bookshelf and has like eight books, all from Daniel Steele. Tell me you did your Pilates on one of those desks, on one of those tables. Just, Yoga. Ugh. <laughs> Townward dog. So, because I, I had to book late, the only flights were either, like, noon for flight back or, yeah. like, 7 o'clock. So, I can't leave at noon because I'm not going to be done yet. Right. So, I go to the airport. I'm sitting there. All of a sudden, I get a, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. All of a sudden, I get an uh, email. I'm like, oh, no. Because whenever I get an email, that's the travel agency telling me your flight. Like, my app won't update. Yeah. But it'll tell the travel agency. We're real sorry about this. Email around. <laughs> and I look, and I'm like, oh, cool. Originally boarding at 7. Now, it's 8.15. Yeah. And then suddenly it's eight thirty, and right. then suddenly it's eight fifty nine, and I, I have a I have a connecting. I couldn't get a direct. I have a connecting, so I go over to the counter and I'm like, "Hey, uh, I got a connection in Nashville. I'm kind of getting a little concerned. Like, where are you heading? Like, in Midway?" And they're looking like, "Oh, well, you can just fly direct. There's one right across, right right behind us that's boarding at the same time as your original flight." And I was like, "What? Then why am I in this stupid like?" And they're like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "Okay, cool." Uh, so can I go that flight? Like, oh, hold on, there might be a problem. Because yeah. <laughs> you didn't book direct with us. I'm like, of course. <laughs> of course. Hey, we got this really nice thing over here. Can I have it? No. No, you, you I'm sorry. Sadly, you cannot. I yeah. wanted to tell you about it so you knew, but you cannot yeah. have it. So it, it, it's Southwest <laughs> and they don't assign seats. You basically line up in order. You right. Whatever. When I get into the front row, it's still open. Window seat, bulkhead. The only thing that sucks about the front row is that you have to put all your stuff over the overhead. You is that the one where you have to work the uh, door too, or no? no? Doors down in the middle. That's down in the middle. Okay, gotcha. Which uh, sometimes I'll sit there too. But so the, there's just two. There's a guy in the one seat, no one in the middle, and then it, then me in the window, and we're we're both kind of like hunching forward in that you don't want to sit here. There's two fat guys. Yeah, right? <laughs> and it works. <laughs> yeah. It works. I look over the guy. He's like, we did it. He's like, yeah. I doze off. I wake up. There's a woman sitting in the middle seat. Now this is like after we've been in flight for an hour. There's no one there forever, and all of a sudden I wake up and there's a woman there acting like she's pissed that I am now in the like. Where, where'd you come from? Yeah, <laughs> and she's literally acting like I'm pissed because I'm encroaching on a seat which, when I fell asleep, was open. Right. So now the rest of the flight, I'm like up into the window, like I'm in the curve of the of the plane, like, and then the whole time she's just like every time I would like adjust, she'd just like look at me. I'm like, where? Did you come from, lady? And she did. She had a backpack in where where you're not supposed to have anything because in your front you're supposed to put everything up. And yeah. then I'd, I had a uh, a bottle of tea sitting in the empty seat when we were taking off. And the flight attendant came over and was like, "You need to hold that." And I was like, "Okay, I'm I'm sure that the tea won't sue you if it breaks its bones, but no problem. I'll just grab it, <laughs> yeah. put it up." And <clears throat> we go to get off. We go to D plane. It's supposed to be like a zipper, like you know. In my what? head right now, I'm hearing D plane, D plane. But yeah. go ahead, yeah. go ahead. You would be. <laughs> But in a voice we don't want to hear. <laughs> hey, man. There it is. The plane. I, huh? I don't, <laughs> you're supposed to go, you're like, you know, every every there row goes. You know, you go, you I go, got you go, you okay. go. This woman just, just just stands there. Let's 17 people from like row 45 just run up and go out. And I was like, oh, I guess no one knows how to plane, huh? This lady doesn't even know where her seat is until an hour in. It was just so weird. I just, I, I still to this day don't know where that woman came from. Why she <laughs> sat there. Why they let her put her luggage right where you're supposed to not supposed to. Like, like my, my bottle couldn't sit there. But her backpack could sit there, like, would fly up and hit me in the face if it was something went wrong. But wouldn't you feel ignorant, like, really stupid if she had, like, a cloaking device that you just didn't know about? She was there the entire time. Yeah. But, like, <clears throat> it, she didn't charge the battery well, on the cloaking device yeah. before she left, and so it, it ran out of Well, ran out of my iced tea was in very warm from her crotch. Then, yeah. It was sitting <laughs> like, right in there. It's like, you need to get that. Uh, seems like this this empty seat next to me is really enjoying my iced tea. I, I, I'm going to leave it right there. We're golden. <laughs> so... That's pretty cool though, man. You uh, you had a seat for half a flight, you yeah, know, it was so next weird. to you. Because on Southwest, that don't normally happen, right? Normally, they're pretty full. Yeah, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I, I've had. Aren't two, they the most popular? I've had two. Well, they're they're cheap because they're they're, they're inexpensive. They're cheap. They let you have free. Ba- uh, you can check bags for free because you, you can go to like Frontier, which is cheap. But then if you want to like bring on your shoes, it's another eighty five dollars. Yeah. Wait, are you wearing clothes on the plane? Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. That's gonna be a hundred bucks. You wearing you're wearing eyeglasses? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's $175. <laughs> and we're going to hold those while you get your money out. And then I can't see what I'm paying you with. 
<laughs> Just give me your cart. I got this. I've had two experiences in Southwest. Either it's fully booked or they literally say, you guys need to spread out because if everyone sits in the front, the plane's going to crash. <laughs> <laughs> they literally tell you, like, no, you have to move. There are 60 of you in a plane that was we were assuming we're going to hold 145. Right. Some of you got to go to the back. You just see the plane, like, flying, like, <laughs> nose down <laughs> the whole way. <laughs> Uh, wow <laughs> yeah like one of them choppers when they take off and they're first uh first on the angle I, yeah i will say at least have fun with it because the the guy that we're on like hey just so you guys know this is a magic plane uh if you put the bags in sideways more of them fit magic <laughs> if you put them in the other way where they're wider less of them fit magic, magic. yeah science also yeah, yeah i could have said science he's Come like on. hey just so you know all the seats are the same they have a they have a seat and a back to put your butt in it it's going to feel no different from any other seat. Those of you <laughs> those of you pushing your way to the back just to find a middle seat back here, the middle seats up front are exactly the same. <laughs> just find a middle seat. Yeah. He's like, hey, everybody, just so you know, we love you just as much as you love us. The sooner you sit down, the sooner we can all go our separate ways. Let's get our butts yeah. in the seats. Stuff like that. So, that's, so they have some personality. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. They at least have some fun with it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well, there was... We're about to push off. Some guy just walks up and goes to the bathroom. And he's like, I don't know if you guys heard this, but we cannot close the door until everyone is in their seats. Their actual seats, not those little tiny seats inside those little tiny rooms. You're talking about the guy in the bathroom? Nice. Guy comes out so oblivious. Yeah. And he's dressed like Waldo. Oh, wait. Is it not like a he's comedy like club? Waldo. Is he's there got, no speaker? In he's got thing? a red like uh, red and white striped shirt. And he's yeah. like, look, we found him. Yeah. <laughs> now, if he can find his seat, that would be great. This guy has no idea what you're talking so about. So like him. David Spade doing the, uh, doing the announcements? Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> but I love when people are, like, are Big getting, dumb animal, folks. getting ripped and they have no idea it's them. Right. Oh, is it me? Yeah. Wait is a minute. Is it me? You're talking about me? Now, why is everybody like, laughing if, but me? If it was you, it'd be two different things. Because you wouldn't know you'd be getting ripped on, but you would also love the attention. Yeah. Was the guy talking about me? Wait a minute. That's about me. Keep going. What else else, else do I have to do? So you're talking about me. It's my reverse stage time on Southwest. Okay, listen. This is about me. (laughs) I'm also going to airdrop you some very randy pictures of myself later on. (laughs) When you're talking about old old Damon and the burger, it's the same thing with me where I I used to not eat before I flight because, you know, now it's just like I have to because if I don't, I'm never going to eat food. Yeah. I had a, they're like, oh, I was like, hey, it was like 1130. And I was like, hey, uh, you guys all set? Because I'm going to go get some breakfast. Because I was the first one. I was the last one out last night. And the first one in right now. You guys are all having a good time. Ted's a little hungry. Yeah. And they're like, hey, there's a really good place. It's called Friendly Toast. <laughs> it's right over here. They do a great breakfast. And I was like, <laughs> like a- that's my ho- that's my hotel stay. Yeah. Yeah. I do it with my neighbor. We yeah. each do a slice. <laughs> I don't know if you know how to know this. I'm, I'm schooled on how you do Friendly Toast <laughs> yeah. here in Boston. <laughs> and I wanted to say, look, I'm just going to get breakfast because it's the first <laughs> meal. It's 1130. I don't have to go get breakfast, guys. Dude. You walk in friendly toast. There's the guy from the room next to you yeah, with just, his robe open. It's just Ted! <laughs> we were wondering if you're going to make it. <laughs> we, yeah. Spin the toaster around. He gets that's, the other side. That's his side. That's his side. I couldn't possibly have two pieces. I had one already this morning with Ted. I go I in. Could, it's it's kind of full, but not like not like packed. There's still empty tables pretty much everywhere. Right. Yeah. And I was like, well, one. He's like, oh, do you want to sit at the bar? And I was like, not really. Yeah. And he's like, oh. Wait, uh, in a place called Friendly Breakfast? Or friendly what? Toast. Friendly Toast. It, we're talking about toast for 45 minutes. Friendly, what was it? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was it about me? <laughs> yeah, then I don't care. I have no idea. Was there glass in this toast? <laughs> I, I was like, well, not really. And he's like, oh, well, um, we kind of we kind of put singles at the bar. I'm like, preface that. Then say, hey, we're going to put you at the bar, not ask me what my preference is. And then when yeah. I say no, you double down on it. <laughs> Should have said, I'm married. Take a table. Yeah. <laughs> so go there. There's no one at the bar. When I sit down, <laughs> by the time I get my drink, there's now five other people at the bar. And it's not like a bar for 40. It's a bar for seven. So now I'm eating with people that I don't know. You don't have to be lonely at Friendly Toast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's weird is that they're, they're making new drinks, right? What are, we, what are we hooking up at the bar? Hey, you come here for the toast? Me too. Yeah. I don't know what I told those people I was doing when yeah. they were like, hey, you should go, uh, Friendly mm-hmm. Toast puts on a good breakfast. <laughs> Wink, wink. <laughs> they got upside down toast. But, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. It's all these fish bowls down here. <laughs> What's going on with this? Why did they ask me to leave my keys at the door? What are we doing? <laughs> Dude. Uh, by the way, that's how the waffle house should operate, too. <laughs> Same way. <laughs> so that's the opposite of friendly toast. Yeah. That's like the fist fight, fist fight waffle, whatever you want to yeah, call it. Yeah, that's the waffle stomp. Yeah, the waffle. Ooh. <laughs> See what I did? Yeah. Call back. I like that. So, hey, can we do a couple fun facts? Sure. Are you ready? No. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm going to start with this one because I think it's I think it's hysterical when you look at the science behind it. Science. In Beertan Village, located in Transylvania, Romania, the church had a divorce reconciliation room. Couples that wanted to get divorced had to live in the room for two weeks with a, one small bed, one chair, one table, one plate, and one spoon. So, oh, I think you were there. So they were extended same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 300 years, they've only had one divorce. How many murders? I was going to say <laughs> homicide. 299. And also, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but you're running out of stuff to do. Uh, you're going to bang your way back to happiness yeah. in the church. You know what I mean? You're like, uh, there's really nothing for us to do nothing here. Nothing to do here. But yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they took my Game Boy. So, <laughs> so what do you say? Ooh. Yeah. But well, so there's one bed, you have to sleep like a sandwich. Right. You're stacking them too open high. Face, yeah. yeah. You're yeah, open face sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you have, bo- if you have two pieces of bread. You're probably getting divorced for other reasons. How do you like sleep with your wife? Open face. Okay, first off, I think we said something wrong here. I think we're sending the wrong message. All right. What, you want a filler face? No, what's funny, though, is like, I said your wife. You're talking about my wife. Open face. I, I stand yeah. by my comment. Yeah. yeah, I do not want you there. Yeah. This is not a sandwich yeah, situation. I understand. You're not a slice of bread. This is a one slice of bread sandwich, okay? This is a fancy sandwich. Yeah. This isn't some slapping together on your way out the door sandwich. I like to call it friendly toast. Okay. <laughs> I like to call it friendly toast. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> You're wearing your robe wide open. No, I lost no it's a snuggie backwards. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have fancy robes here. I had to go down to the lobby and ask for it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Hey, so. Uh, I know you haven't brought me my one spatula. Yeah. Also known as my serving spoon and my carving knife. But yeah. Hey, can uh, I get that robe? Honey, I'm going to run up to bed because I'm tired. Will you be open faced when I get there? Oh my <laughs> How does this work? <laughs> I'm glad you said face. Yeah. Because <laughs> I got some friendly toast with your name on it and it's coming. What, what, yeah. What's open late night? Yeah. <laughs> Are you like a Denny's? Are you going to serve me till four? <laughs> Is it just the ro- is it just the window around back? Yeah. Or can I come in through the front door? Or do I gotta get out of the dumpster? <laughs> you guys still serving? Or am I eating from the dumpster like a raccoon? What am I doing here? What am I doing? So are we still talking about toast? <laughs> Pick up window, open until two AM. I'm gonna need you to pull up to the rail. Your toast isn't ready yet. <laughs> Sir, that's McDonald's. Sir, we're still working on that. Yeah, we're still working on that. So, you no, know we someone hasn't ordered that in a long time, <laughs> right? Yeah, we don't have any of those ready. Yeah, we we didn't know you were coming. Sorry. So, <laughs> said made your way right away. Just relax. So, uh, so anyway, here, here's fun fact number two. Okay, <laughs> I don't I don't remember what the fact was. <laughs> yeah, in eighteen, it's about a bang room in a church. <laughs> yeah, one divorce, three hundred. I years. was kidding. I, even yeah. though it wasn't about me, I did remember. Yeah. <laughs> Was it waffle? What was the what was the breakfast? What was the word? So in 1818, the U.S. began building a fort near the New York Quebec border to defend against invasions from Canada. I already find flaws in this. Yeah, that seems like a waste of money. Okay. After two years of construction, they realized the fort was actually on Canadian side. They abandoned it, named it Fort Plunder. Here's the problem: if you're worried about your neighbor invading your yard and he let you put your shed on his property. I don't think I'd worry about that neighbor. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I would worry about the neighbor because that neighbor's shrewd. The whole yeah. time they're like, hey, God, sh- 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 don't sh- tell them we're getting a free fort out of this. <laughs> we are getting a, we're getting a tree fort. This is going to be awesome. Let's yeah. put a, let's put a lot of stuff at our line. Yeah. What, what they think is our line so they keep building the fort bigger and better. Right. And yeah. then in the end be like, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the Canadian guys on the back door just wrote, no girls allowed. Like it's their clubhouse. Yeah. You know, they're the, they're the, they're the, our gang. You're spanky. You're alfalfa. Here's what we're doing. But yeah, so you wanted to prevent now. See if it was Canada. Me, if it was me, yeah, that's where they'd put the airport. Right, I'd, yeah. I'd be driving through Quebec. Welcome to Canada. Welcome to New York. Wait a minute, Whoa. what? What happened? Yeah, what? I was in. Wait a minute. Is there a bridge? Is there a plane bridge? <laughs> How am I getting back? On the, uh, Over Niagara Falls, <laughs> plane bridge. I got right to. Do, I will say this. We're gonna roll back. We're gonna roll back to me in Boston. I got to do a thing I've never been able to do in my life. For yeah. real, I got a call, and I was like, "Hey, real quick, I got to wrap this up." I'm about to drive into a tunnel. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> there's a tunnel between me and the airport. No, that's a hard out. Yeah. I, and, I get a hard out. And everybody always wants to say yeah. that. I when, when we were growing up, you're never on the phone. Yeah. Because the guy was rambling. I'm like, hey, I got to cut you off. I'm about going in a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that when you're in a plane. Yeah. Uh, sorry. We're about to fly through a tunnel. <laughs> so <laughs> what? I don't ask questions. Yeah. All right. Did, did you want anything to drink? Uh, I did a tunnel. So. <laughs> yeah, but, so don't say about to hit a tunnel. Yeah. Let's about to fly through a tunnel. Um, no, I like that. I like that. That's a, that's a solid hard out. I like it very much. Yeah. And it was like, I'll call you back. Never called him back. Yeah. <laughs> that's tunnel. a long tunnel. He doesn't tunnel. know. Yeah. Tunnel. tunnel. Yeah, you don't know. Tunnel. My tunnel is the center of the earth. You don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so so anyway, I don't think you need to worry about a, a country that is letting you build. I, I like yeah. that too. Real shrewd. Shh, 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 shh. Hold on. Shh. Hold on. We're we're getting real estate out of this. We're getting yeah. property. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. So you have to put a town around it too. Yeah. It's like it's like when the property brothers are at your neighbor's house and they start building and you're like, they didn't even they didn't they didn't look at the plot. That's my garage. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's on my property. Someone's getting a bonus room. It'd be great if it was like half and half. So it was like the Brady's where they like literally taped down the thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this side of the fort's ours. Yeah. <laughs> that side of the fort's yours. Let's agree to only fight on the outside of the fort. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> 150 dead people inside the fort. Yeah. No, you come inside, you you like, you see the guy who was just fighting. Whew, man, that's rough, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. <sighs> All right. Don't don't watch where I'm putting my armor. <laughs> He stands his, we'll go back in times, 1800s. He stands his musket up and falls onto the other side. Ooh, I don't have to give that back to you, I don't think. Some guy just comes out with a handsaw and just starts cutting it. Yeah, cuts it right in half. Guys, stop dropping it. <laughs> we are out of guns. Or he's like hitting the, he's like pushing the ball in and it rolls out across to the other side. And yeah. the guy's like, ooh. <laughs> Ammo. Someone's not loaded. <laughs> so... I mean, to, to be fair, it must have been a lot easier back then to accidentally be in the wrong part of land. Correct. Correct. Because it's not like they could just fly up and look down at the map. Right. And just yeah. see, like, because there's no planes back then. You couldn't just fly up and be like, oh, wait a minute, guys. That's, zoom in. Ooh. Zoom in. Two finger that out. Two finger that up. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> I keep clicking on it. I can't expand. I can't expand. It's 1880. This is the worst map. I can't. I cannot expand. I don't understand what I'm doing here. So I have two more, but I'm only going to do one because we're uh, we went pretty deep on uh, old eating glass and uh, oh, we had a good time. Yeah, we actually <laughs> yeah. did stuff this week. Yeah. So uh, here's our last one: the armadillo's armor is so strong that when a man in Georgia tried to kill one with a nine millimeter pistol, the bullet the bullet ricocheted, hit a fence, went into a mobile home, blew through a recliner, and shot his mother in law in the back. Okay. What if that's not true? <laughs> and he was just like, okay, look, I was shooting an armadillo. <laughs> yeah. It went back and to the left, yes. shot through this wall, through this fence, this mattress, through this house, through this refrigerator, through Ted's toaster, just, yeah. the, left, just the left side. Just this side. And then into my mother's just, just that side, yeah. <laughs> and you pull out the toast, there's a hole through it. You're like, uh, I, I give you exhibit A. Uh, checks out. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to ask my neighbor if I can share some of his friendly toast. But what's weird is, so here's 48 hours, Georgia. When you want to kill your mother-in-law, yeah, when you want to kill your mother-in-law. I don't know why I do that out loud. We have a thing. You need an armadillo. Okay. Do you think that he had to go stage this thing afterwards? Like, okay. He's like, he's the most scientific hillbilly on the face of the earth. He's like, trajectory would tell you. I'd have to hit the armadillo right here. You see him like. From there. You see him like he's got an armadillo like fighting. He's got it in between his knees, the hammer and chisel, just trying to like knock a little. Yeah. I got, there's going to be a ding in this armadillo. Yeah, his shirt you says. You had a pristine armadillo, like, wait a minute. His shirt says ASI for armadillo scene <laughs> investigator. <laughs> what does what your shirt stand for? I'd rather not say, but I'm going to tell you right now, my mother in law's in critical condition. Okay. So, yeah. That's when, he, that's when he does the whole, okay. The armadillo was in front of the trailer. I used a bazooka. Okay. Feel real bad about this. Like, uh, and, hey, honey, good news, bad news. Bad news, the armadillo is still alive. <laughs> Good news is... <laughs> Your mother's not. <laughs> I'm glad you see where I went with that. You know what we wanted? We wanted your mom to find her own place. Yeah. <laughs> we can now fit her in a box. <laughs> she, she gets her own single slice of toast in the sky now, honey. She's, she's, <laughs> she, she put some jam on that. She puts jam on that. So, but no, I just thought... It, Again, the, like show the list just kept going. The armadillo looks like a tank. I get yeah. it. I understand, but it's a nine millimeter. That's not real powerful either. No, 
I mean, you're I'm not... surprised it went through all the other stuff after slowing down from the ricochet. Right. That's where I'm like, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the guy's like, you're never well, going to believe I was dead. Well, Bobby and, said, yeah, this never going to believe. Happened. You're never going to believe, man. I was throwing bullets at this armadillo. Okay. <laughs> and then, wait, you were throwing? Shooting. I was shooting. Did I say shooting? I said through. My daughter said I couldn't take this armadillo out with one bullet. Yeah. I said, I'll try. Yeah. Coincidentally, I called my mother in law the armadillo. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Was it, was it like a horse? Okay. Off to your armadillo. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing through, but mother in law. Through, through a mattress. <laughs> Nothing but MIL. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to skip over the uh, TCO of the week and I'm going to go to headlines. No, TCO <laughs> this week. Uh, of the week. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do headlines. You ready? This one here, I think the guy's got a case. Prisoner who died and came back to life argues his life, out, life, his life sentence is technically finished. He might have a case. I think that's such a bad precedent, though. What do you mean? You can see how many people were like, well, all of a sudden you're going to have like uh, uh, jail yard, like shock paddles. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go under you bring me back, right? Ready? Wait. Shock paddles are like where they're roasting each other. What are you talking about? No, like the clear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then they're going to flatline and have their buddy like bring them back up and be like, hey, this guy was dead. Yeah. He's got to go. Yeah. <laughs> those guys are crafty. I'm saying like if you let you let that loophole open. Right. Other people are going to start trying to take themselves out just so they can. But think about it. Your sentence is until death. Yeah. You reach death. Now. Somehow, you were granted another another go around. Uh, I don't know that that means you're reformed. Well, he ate that green mushroom. Yeah, <laughs> was, they thought it was moldy. It turns out he just got a one up. He powered up. Yeah, he powered up. So, guy kicks turtles all the time. But uh, but my point is is I believe there's a science behind what he's saying. Okay. Well, yeah, because I can totally see you arguing in front of the judge where you're the prisoner. Yeah. There's a you have your lawyer on one side, a doctor on the other side. Hey, was I dead for a little while? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Uh, 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 I give you exhibit. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, <laughs> to the point where the judge finally just be like, yeah, see? Yeah. Exactly it. Brian playing the part of the judge. So, so the judge does that. Let him go. I don't even care. What happens is you start seeing the, the jurors do that and you're like, huh? Huh? You're pointing at the jurors? Huh? Huh? Look at what you look what the guy's doing in the box next to you. Come on. Huh? Yeah. But uh but so anyway, that was quick. But I I, I do believe he has he has a leg to stand on. <laughs> he do be having a leg to stand yeah, on. Yeah, he do be he be having two still. Um all right, this one got me. Man who's been on sick leave for 15 years <laughs> sues IBM for not giving him a pay raise. <laughs> I didn't get my bonuses when I was on sick leave <laughs> for 15 years. Dude, he was in a tunnel. I don't know. What, what, what do you get? I want to know, like, how do I get a job at IBM? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The B is for we not be checking. Okay. Yeah. We do not. Yeah. We do not check. Okay. So, but 15 years, sick leave, that is one yeah, hellacious. I'd be missing, yeah. I'd be missing work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be, I wouldn't say I'm missing it, Tad. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The problem with IBM, I don't have a lot of vacation. <laughs> but I do get sick. Yeah, I have like 30,000 sick days. <laughs> That's what it is. Well, 15 years. So you're, yeah, you're. I mean, you're you're well over three thousand sick days. Yeah. Oh my god! So you know what I mean? You're you're like you're, you're damn near five thousand sick days. I, I got to tell you guys, um, I'm kind of offended by this. The cost of living has gone up way, way more in fifteen years than my pay rate. Right? Why aren't you back here, HIPAA? Yeah. <laughs> HIPAA. Yeah. I can't. I I can't really go into that. Is it, I can't uh, live on uh, you know sixty six percent of what you used to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go up to sixty six percent of what I should be being paid now. Uh, Billy, is it still diarrhea? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, my mortgage is due. <laughs> I need a pay raise. <laughs> so yeah, look, uh, the job I have at Apple isn't paying enough. The one I go to every day, so I need the the amount from the sick pay from IBM that I don't go to. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. You know, great. It's like suddenly someone in, in HR was like, "Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> He's the Brian McKender of HR. Wait, Wait a minute. What? F 15 years? And this guy wants a key? <laughs> I'm not letting him have a key. <laughs> Doesn't even know how to plug his headphones in. <laughs> you talking about this guy? or I, I feel like we're making this personal now. Is this a personal <laughs> attack? Now he has a mic. He didn't walk through the door and, and like pantomime. Yeah. Hey, like headphones. He, like he's laying in the plane. Yeah. 
Guys, tunnel. <laughs> tunnel. Mac wants me to steal second. I don't know what he's saying in the doorway. All right. <laughs> this one, I'm going to read it, and I'm not going to show you the picture. I'm going to read. I'm going to read it. You All tell right. me what it is. Reptile farmer ripped apart and killed by his own forty crocodiles after falling into their enclosure. Okay. Seems legit. It does. Okay. Was there uh, was there an ATV involved? <laughs> well, my question is. Is he himself a reptile and a farmer? farmer? Oh, so you're saying, <laughs> or is it like the lizard from Spider Man? Or is he planting a crop of geckos? <laughs> what is this guy doing? Or in this case, crocodiles? What? What are you farming? <laughs> what are you farming? You no know, geckos, crocodiles are all the same. Yeah, they got bigger teeth. <laughs> you see a crocodile trying to get in the Geico commercial? Well, I was just say. You're talking to a crocodile the whole time, and like this guy will not even talk about insurance. <laughs> Does this guy not even get a commission? What's going on? He keeps trying to sell me a polo shirt with and he, his picture on it. I don't the, understand. He ate the Aflac guy when he walked by. I guess he likes geese. I don't know what he did, but so a reptile farmer ripped apart and killed. So not just ripped. Yeah. If you're ripped apart, I don't did, think. Wait, your entire life, your 47 years on Earth, did you think chicken farmers were just large chickens who farmed? <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're at? Try with the combine. Did you, think, did you think? Did you like? Well, I've seen big birds, so I understand there's yeah. large birds. I, I birds. It's the reptiles. Okay, I've never seen a large reptile. All right. <laughs> did you see Godzilla in like a straw hat and and like a pitchfork? Like, yeah. What are you talking about? But, I'm a but, reptile farmer. But but farmers plant stuff in the ground. Okay, Mac. I think you thought they were big chickens at the time. <laughs> Just tell <Seems> you. <laughs> Max like just have a button. Seems legit. Yeah. Checks out. Yeah. He's got a new his own drop. Sure. Hey, hey Mac, the uh Jerry's pushing him for yeah. me. Mac, the studio's on fire. Seems legit. Yeah. Checks out. Checks out. By the way, we pop out. He's not even in there anymore. By the way, it's we, just that bird that like pops down. We did have a makeshift fire drill prior. Prior to, the, to this yeah. recording today. He's like, hey, if you need to break glass to get out of here, this is what you use to break glass. And Damon's like, the second floor? <laughs> and Mac and I were both like, you would rather burn it? <laughs> <laughs> to, which I, to which I replied, "Yeah, Jerry, it was really funny. You should have been here." <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Sorry, Jerry, it wasn't that good. I guess. Sorry, Jerry. But well, now Damon's gonna throw Jerry out first. So, now there's three people. I can't wait. To which I replied, "You guys go first. So I got something soft to land on when I jump out the window." <laughs> but I was just like, second floor. <laughs> Can he go break glass? I'm like, we're on second floor, Chief. I don't know what we're doing here. Um, There's so, always someone parked right outside the door. Yeah. Just landing his Miata. So, yeah. I watched the making of John Wick last night and I saw the scene where he landed on the car. He was fine. <laughs> this looks like a, he, he was like, I want, looks like a first rate version of me. Listen, John Wish, there's a balcony right down the hall down here. I want you on it. I want you to aim for the Ford Ranger. Okay. I cannot see because you're going to have to have a budget vehicle. You're John Wish. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Aim for the wood chipper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Aim for the wood chipper. Should, I wish good. you could turn those around because if Keanu was looking at Brian, like, what yeah. is this? What, 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 what do we have? Yeah. Can you mirror image Keanu for yeah. me? Yeah. So, anyway, uh, here's, our, here's our last one. And no, I did not think big chickens farmed. I just didn't think. <laughs> That you call. <laughs> we suddenly got, wait, all right. Just so you guys know, <laughs> I'm not that dumb. It was funny for the joke. Yeah. But I needed it on record that I knew they were medium sized chickens. Yeah. <laughs> they were slightly above average and they're not egg layers. I understand. So here's my last one Tourists with an S narrowly escape being gored after trying to pet a bison for selfies. Now, last sentence despite calls to stop. Okay. I don't know what kind of jack wagon is over there trying to stop them because this is called thinning the herd. Well, literally. Well, the wrong herd though. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's like the Willy Wonka. Like, oh no, stop! Please yeah. don't. <laughs> right. Please don't. Someone's going to get really hurt here. Well, there wasn't oh. there? Didn't they have to kill a bison somewhere because the guy took it away? It was in uh, Yosemite or something where it, he he was messing with it. And so it was going to be like abandoned. Really? So they had to put it down. So I'm wondering if they're like, please stop. We would rather not have to kill the bison. We don't care about you. Right, yeah. You are expendable. No, so like where we grew up uh, in Wilmington, they have the Medewin, yeah. and they have bison out there. Yeah. Now, I used to work at a place that we serviced their vehicles. Now, they had a, a big Ford F-250, right? Every time they'd come in, there would be, like, this thing looked like it fell in a ravine. 
and you and you look at it and you go, what happened there? Well, they feed the bison. They had a steak bed, a flatbed on the back. So they could sit up on the flatbed and they could feed the bison, not by hand, of course, but they would do that. The bison would ram the truck. Now you're talking about, this is a girl that might weigh 140 pounds. Yeah. Next to a bison that weighs slightly more than I do. Okay. <laughs> well, I saw, you said the bison, I saw a clip just yesterday where a guy's driving his uh, camper behind, like he's pulling behind a pull behind camper. Yeah. Deer jumps up in the air between the truck and the camper, hits so it hits the front nose of the camper, pushes it in probably six and a half feet. Just yeah, and then continues to jump and goes the rest on its way. Right, that's a deer, which is you know not a small animal, but probably like a fifth the size of a bison. Right, just right through you. But do you? So in the picture, and this might be Photoshop for the thing. I have no idea. But in the picture, the bison that I'm showing you appears to have that look like. Try me, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and I listen. I'm gonna say this, and I don't mean this to be this bitch. Okay, <laughs> that's that's really the look I'm getting from this bison right now. Okay, it's like well, you you say that, but I was watching a thing where the, this this guy was like, okay, if I have if I if I laugh, I have to pay my editor a thousand dollars. Yeah, the thing he made through a bunch of funny videos, probably TikToks and stuff. The one that got him was, you ever see those ice machines where like if you pay for it, it'll drop out a bag of ice. Yeah. Well, they had told their sister you have to hold a bag. To catch the ice. <laughs> so like, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Don't move. Don't move. The bag drops out. She starts laughing. All of a sudden, as it cuts off, you hear, you dumb bitch. <laughs> God, God that's what got you. It. That's yeah. what got you. Yeah. The guy lost it. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's that's just the bite. Uh, yeah. The thing is, it was it was like brother and sister. Like, yeah. It was, it was that kind of Josh. That's right. why it was funny. It wasn't some guy going up just calling some yeah. random woman a... Yeah, but 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 this yeah. but like I said, this bison yeah, bison has this bison like, is sniffing her kneecaps. Yeah. That, okay. The bison really looks like laying on the ground. Try it. Yeah, just try it. But he's just like, okay, look. When I hear the click of the camera, yeah. you're gonna die. Yeah. Okay. So I, I'm just telling you right now. But now here's the thing. See hey the first, guys, I'm here with these bison. But do you see the first word? Yeah, the the, the S. The so tourist. there is multiple people. Yeah. That decided. A picture with a bison. Oh, is this a new TikTok challenge? Oh, I just hate pet this. a bison. I don't want to get involved in the whole like you know doing stuff for the for the clicks and the likes and everything. Right. Because I the people that go out and like deface things or they prank people. Yeah. Like they're just literally going by and like throwing stuff in people's faces and I mean you get mad you're like just a prank, bro. Yeah. Slow down, bro. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Well, but that all so started. That, that doesn't work with a bison. Hey, it's just a prank, bison. <laughs> settle down, bro. He took it so literally. Hey, hey, Bry, settle down. <laughs> that bison hurt my feelings. I don't think it's your feelings that need to heal. I think it's your spleen, and I think I think there's a lot more. But but again, so what goes through your head when you're like, hey hey hey, I got the perfect photo op. You know what I mean? I'm gonna photo bomb yeah. a resting wild animal that's yeah. bigger than my Buick that I I'm drove here. Gonna, at. I was just gonna say, hi, I'm gonna go uh, get in front of this uh, autonomous Buick. Right? Yeah, yeah. It, it, that's kind of like standing on the highway. As the cars are flying and being like, I can't see nothing bad happening here. Yeah. I just don't. Or and, and being like, hey, stop, guys, for me. Yeah. I yeah. Gotta stop. Yeah. I need to do my thing. <laughs> yeah. Do you not see the cell phone in my hand? I paid $1,100 for this phone. Uh, I have 600 followers on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so I want this bison photo for free. So you know what's weird? There's another bison behind him taking a selfie over the shoulder right now. Like, like wait to see what Billy does. Okay. <laughs> He's playing yeah. it cool. Hey, everybody. It's on his Instagram. <laughs> bison pranks. Bison pranks on the gram? Is that a real thing? All right. So here's what Billy's doing. He's acting like he's resting. He can sniff her kneecaps from where she's at. People are over there going, don't do it. And Billy's like, I'm cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Until he's not. <laughs> he's like the, he's a Patrick Swayze yeah. from Roadhouse. Be cool. Be nice. I wish they would have had a picture, like nice. just as just as the bison's taking them, you know, sweeping the leg. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it was at this moment she realized she. He puts on a gi <laughs> and he stands up and he sweeps the leg first. Then he gores her when she's on the ground. <laughs> you see the bison in the uh, in the crane kick. Yeah. <laughs> Focus, Daniel. <son. laughs> Sweep it, Johnny. Sweep it. <laughs> We're we'll giving right. a body bag. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna need a big one. He's like 1,700 pounds. <laughs> so, what did we learn? <laughs> yeah, he, he walks away. There was like two horses like that when I found it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dryer still going. Bison hair blowing everywhere. I don't even know where that dryer came from. I promise. 
hand of God. I didn't even touch that roll. I don't even know. <laughs> Those paper towels didn't even touch yeah. them. They were there. They, they were, were there. there. It's so, like they would have found it. So what did we learn? It's just a splatter of tourists. <laughs> Hey, uh, can I get the manager? That one tourist had glass in it. We can't identify her, but this appears to be less than single ply toilet paper. I think I know that girl. She lives in Shanghai. Yeah. The young bison's like, hey, dad, I bet you can do that tourist in one bite. Yeah. <laughs> son, if you ever, I can't believe you've never been Gordon before, son. So, what did we learn today, Dad? We learned to check your sorbet before you eat it. <laughs> Hey, a one bite challenge is not always the way what it's cut out to be. Uh, we learned Dolly, Donnie Wahlberg is uh, very, very, very personable. Right. We learned that. Yeah. We learned that. Uh, we also learned that, yeah, poorly placed paper. We also learned in a that restroom. If, if you're in an airport, maybe turn around and look at the flight that's behind you. <laughs> maybe it goes straight to where you're going. Right. <laughs> you need access to flight plans. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we learned that plans can change easily if someone has an oh no. Yeah. We, uh, we learned that uh, if a church has a bang room, the divorce rate <laughs> is Go, goes way down. Diminished. Diminished. Yeah. We've all, there's nothing to do but you. Yeah. Maybe you'll stick together. <laughs> Got to have that toast. So anyway, we also learned that if you're going to build a fort in your neighbor's yard, he's probably going to use yeah. it as his own. Yeah. When they say, like, don't get the home inspection, get the home inspection and the surveyor. Yeah. <laughs> We learned armadillos are bulletproof, yeah, yeah. but mother-in-laws are not. <laughs> well, yeah, we learned uh, Canada can take a fort without firing a bullet. Yeah, correct. <laughs> the best game of capture the flag ever. Uh-uh. They just roll it right down the pole, put their flag up. What are we doing here? Uh, we learned that if you die, it counts. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> it counts. Uh, we learned that diarrhea is good for 15 years of sick leave, <laughs> and you still should get those pay raises and in increments. <laughs> yeah, we, we learned that the, the amount of balls in the people that kind of work for IBM are <laughs> gigantic. They're enormous. <laughs> yes. They would pet bison without a yeah. fault. <laughs> All right. And then I, I also learned big chickens do not farm. <laughs> okay. That's personal best for me. Big chicken pharma. I'm totally against it. All right. Where can they find us, Ted? You could find us. At- <laughs> There's a voice. You can find us at thatchecksout.net. All the socials, that checks out. WDT. Don't forget, Cool Dad's video on YouTube, song, and all of your music playing services. Thanks again to Audio High Podcast and grabbing us out here. Dr. Brian, so come see Jerry. Do whatever you want. Do your own podcast. Have fun. TCO Productions presents That Checks Out with. Damon and Ted. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> you got me, man. I was not ready. I we the whole episode. Watch out on In actuality, though, if you guys ever need to break that glass for some reason. What glass? That microphone stand that's holding up the uh, phone thing behind. There, that's, that's wait. The stand is well, stop, stop, stop. Uh, Break what glass? The You're glass? talking the second story window, man. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, better than burning yeah, alive. I was gonna say, I will take a broken leg over burning alive. <laughs> okay, here's what I want we'll break the glass. You guys jump first, so I got something soft to land on when I jump out third. Mac, do you have any? It's not a poor strategy. <laughs> Mac, do you have any tripods on Facebook Marketplace? <laughs> um. Oh, I might, but I don't actually have it anymore. So okay. it's still, so it's still up that, there. How so, does that work? So the answer is to, no. Uh, <laughs> okay. I have to take that down. So, so when I reply, is this still available? <laughs> What's the answer, <laughs> Mac? No. <laughs> okay. Because we found it out to my niece as a graduation gift the other day. Because <laughs> oh. we found out that uh, Damon's we, we, gimbal plus a ladder does not equal a good. Yeah. Tripod. Well, here's the deal. I don't want something. What elect- did you do? What? Well, I have that gimbal He's got that, that I use gimbal. that works, oh, yeah, works yeah, yeah. great. Here's the problem. When you want it to set still for a while, it decides mm-hmm. it wants to hiccup, and then you're screwed on what you just shot. Yeah, we're literally so, like, rotate, 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 yeah, rotate, yeah, rotate. Yeah, so anyway, I would rather have a, a tripod as well, so when we're doing still stuff where gotcha. we don't have to, you know, sometimes we're following it. I get it. We're, here's the deal. We're not like Mark Wahlberg. This is not an action flick. We're filming this. You can slowly uh, follow me. What you know? uh, do you, are you looking for like a full, like tall tripod or a short <clears throat> tripod? I, I, I like a tall one. I think uh, I do have a good, real, I have a really good short one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't have any tall ones. Are you selling the really short one? 
Or are you uh, giving it away for graduation? I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what about if I just find some white trash dude on eBay that like needs thirty dollars? You know what I mean? I mean, you're really not. Nice. Well, when you're putting a thousand dollar phone on it. For seventy five percent off, basically. Mm. It's like the yeah, at least let him look. You're, uh, you're, yeah. He's he's offering to do all this work. I don't even care. Don't even put any effort into it. <laughs> Don't help me at all. Get yourself a good try. How much? <laughs> don't even give me like. Don't be cheap. So wait a minute. So you're saying I got a tripod guy now? Yes. Nice. Yeah, you've never had a tripod guy. You in know your what's life. weird? I get the next bill for the show, and it's like uh, tripod guy. Tri- tripod guy. <laughs> tripod uh, services. Uh, can you take that off? I don't want to send that to my tax guy. Do I have to tell my tax guy about my tripod guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you recording this? Because this is good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this might be better than the actual podcast. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Was that me or the board? <laughs> Neither. Are we live? Are we live yet? <laughs> I've thought about getting a second uh, controller for over here. Oh, feel, board? Yeah, but I feel like I'd abuse it, and you guys would get mad at me. <laughs> they just—it just went all grimace over here. Now it's back. Yeah, I was seeing what's on the second panel. Oh, There's more I, stuff over here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, doesn't show up because you pushed it. <laughs> this, is a, this is the B-roll. The B, the the B-hole. Oh, that was the B-hole. Anal yeah. seepage. You were correct. We used to know how to do that because you at one point you had it on both and you, Damon's like, I don't want it. Don't, don't. Yeah. yeah. This don't. is a strange <laughs> story on that channel. Oh, that, that gauge is way down. Oh, God. <laughs> 